Scott Nessler, and alongside me are Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. It's going to be cold out there today for the Georgia Bulldogs and the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. And here come the Yellow Jackets. The Yellow Jackets should have their way with this team. Herbie, why don't you tell us about their star? Georgia Tech is lucky to have such a force at defensive end. Offense is game planned around him, and I wouldn't expect to see many runs to his side. The rest of the defense is just as good, and they'll dominate in this game. All right, here you go, kids. Georgia Tech, sweetheart. Well, Coach, we'll find out if you're right or not. Let's take it down to the field where today's captains are ready for the coin toss. Right fields it at the 13. He's hit and got away. Right loses it, and they fall on the loose ball. And a costly fumble. The ball carry had a ah, drops back, steps up in the pocket. He's looking. He lets it go. His receiver has it. They'll bring him down at the 19. Good job of attacking the coverage to keep the drive alive. That was a great looking pass to move the sticks on third down. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Great call by the offensive coordinator. Big time play, taking that ball all the way in. Maybe the defense wasn't expecting a run. They'll try to get the first on the ground. Tackle made at the 36-yard line. He'll be stopped just short of the first down. Oh, so close yet so far away. I thought he had it. Rolling out to the right side. And he's hammered as he lets it go. And they push him out at the 31. That's the first down right there. Yeah, it's one thing for the offense. Right there. I mean, they've been playing great football all year. You're lucky if you can move They will knock him down for a loss. Three-yard loss there. He lost the ball. Oh, recovers a loose ball. The running back just lost the handle on that one. Look out. That ball flew out of there like a wet bar of soap. Sheds that one. He's taken down at the eight-yard line. Nice pickup on the reverse. Brad, they got the defense going one way. That bang, they reverse it the other way. Good execution. That provides great support in front of Pets. Brad still makes a great defense. Maybe a yard on the option play of the fullback. Somebody jumped early down there. That penalty. There are three quarters remaining, and our score here, Georgia, seven, Georgia Tech, nothing. The kick is up, and he's got it. Back to pass. Cox rifles it. Got it to him on the run. That's how you looks to pass. There he goes. Oh, what a hit. Three yards there on the quarterback keeper. Here's the nope. They snap into the up back. I don't think that one worked the way it was playing. Uh, they rolled the dice here, but the up man just couldn't get the ball to the first down. Line. Up the first. 
Looking to throw. Looking. Intercepted. It's the linebacker. Brought down at the 43-yard line. Great catch by the linebacker, but not a smart throw from the quarterback. It didn't look like the quarterback even saw the linebacker hanging in that area. It pays to be in the right spot at the right time. Cox off the fake. He throws right. Complete. Tackle at the 24. What did you see there, guys? The defense was in zone coverage. The offense did a good job of protecting the quarterback, and he threw a nice ball to get the first down. And the receiver ran a nice route to get open between the zone coverage. Hands it off. Excellent open field tackle. That was. Here comes the pressure. Leslie comes up with a sack. Still a four-point game, guys. That's why this block is so important. Now a touchdown won't just tie the game, but it will give them the lead. We'll see how important this block turns out to be in this game. Back to pass. Rolling out to the left side. He guns it left side. Intercepted. And they turn it over right before the half. Well, this really hurts them here. They're trying to cut into that lead before they got into the showers for halftime. But unfortunately, this turnover will still leave them down as they get into the locker room. The Bulldogs are lining up with three receivers. Cox throws. And he went way up, and he's got the interception. That's his first pick of the year. And what a great interception it was. That can change the whole landscape of this game. It's a one-possession game right now, so every score counts. That turnover could turn out to be the difference maker. We've still got a half of football remaining, but our score at halftime is Georgia 7, Georgia Tech 3. Set up the play action. Is sacked. They hand it off. Everett with a takedown at the 30. There's an injured player, and we'll try to find out who it is. Yeah, he's definitely in a lot of pain down there. You really hate to see something like that happen. Two backs. They'll run the option. The 50. Down the sideline. And he's all the way down to the 25-yard line. What a great play. That was all the quarterback right there, guys. Whoa, 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 Kirk. You always give credit to the quarterback. Oh, I know. Well, what about the block? And that's what's going to be great. The blocking was good, but it was the decision-making. Who picked up all the yards there? Yeah, well, I'll try to pick up. off up the middle. Back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. The kick is up, and it splits the uprights. Ends up in the deep back, eye formation. Cox pitches it out. Thomas, well shot. It's scooped up. What a tackle. That was going to be a touchdown. What do you think about the play of that safety, Herbie? And this guy stepped up and made a big play right here for the defense. Nice fumble recovery. Third and short, they hand it off. They'll knock him down for a loss. He gets it up. And he got it. He lets it go. The freshman makes the catch. And he's taken down at the Thievers. Rolls to the right. They brought him down for the sack at the 23-yard line. Oh, 
fullback on the inside give. There's a fumble. Jones with a recovery. And so the defense recovers the ball after the fullback popped it up. Well, he's really going to hear about it from his coaches. Gray, options right, and he hits him hard at the 29-yard line. Option play here. The quarterback holding on to the ball a little bit too long. He had nowhere to go. That's a good job. It's up. And they tack on three points. Pretty good kick right there, and it wasn't an easy one. They did everything right. It was a good snap, a good hold, and then a good kick. We've played three, and we're locked in a tight one with a score. Georgia 10, Georgia Tech 9. Looks to pass. He's going right. It's complete. He's taken down at the 25. The wideout made a good-looking grab there. You're right, and the quarterback threw it as soon as he saw he had that extra step. They'll run the option. And he has room to rumble. And he's tackled to the 38-yard line. Jones gets the call again. Jakes off a tackle. Dodge. Tackles him at the 50. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. Yo, nice run and good job to keep the chains moving. They are straight. Lion gets another carry. Fumble, loose ball. Picked up by the linebacker. That was a huge turnover. And it couldn't have come at a better time for this defense. You're trying to come up with a big stop. And now... Out of way, penalty on the play. Let's see who it's on. They go with a run. Loose football. And the offense picks it up. They bring him down in the back. Houston falls on the fumble. Not a good time to fumble the football. And that guy feels horrible about it. He's got to forget about it. Go out there and play hard the next. Cox drops back to pass. Gets past the tackler. Cox delivers. His back makes the catch. You know, it's really easy to overlook those guys on the line. Yeah, the defense came after them, and those linemen held them long enough for the quarterback to throw for a first down. So this chapter of the rivalry will come to a close. What do you guys think of this game? They've talked about the rivalry all week long, and for good reason. We saw the intensity down on the field every play, and it showed us why these teams love to hate each other. It'll be interesting to see how this game carries over to the next time they play. Folks, thanks for tuning in to our game. Our final score, Georgia 10, Georgia Tech 9. Brad Nessler for Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet signing off. So long, everybody.